uh, it's right from the start of the game, which means we will be Player one and hold control of our civilization six game. So it's been a while since our last game, and I figure it's time for another one. This will be a bit of a different setup than usual. I'll be using one of the new map scripts from alternate cartography mode, which I highly recommend if you're not familiar with it. It has some really good map scripts. And this one is a very interesting map type where you have a whole bunch of areas surrounded by mountains with an inland sea in the middle and a Bermuda Triangle in the middle of the inland sea. So you basically want to get navigation as soon as possible to be able to cross ocean tiles. And you don't really have to worry about the neighbors early on. It's just a completely different map from anything I ever played. And I figure Kupa will, will be very interesting here because he's the only leader who can cross ocean tiles right from the start of the game, which means we will be able to settle other areas. It's just random where we will go from the Bermuda Triangle. You can see, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> and I enable Heroes and Legends mode because they're always fun to play with. Other game modes are disabled. We're playing on daily as usual. Standard map size. And uh, here's the seed, in case you decide to play with this exact same map. So let's get started. And now, All right, here we are. I'm looking forward to this. This should be quite interesting. Yeah, there's the Bermuda Triangle. I will not be entering that because I don't want to separate my settler from my warrior. I mean, I could just attach them to one another, but we don't want to settle... Hey everyone, and welcome to back. another Hopefully Civilization VI game. So, it's been a while since our last... I mean... I could just attach them to one another, but we don't want to settle near some AI. Hopefully there isn't going to be one over here. We want to have this area for ourselves. Hopefully that's going to be the case. But don't worry, we'll send other settlers through there soon enough. Now let's find a good spot here. And this doesn't look that great, as far as I'm concerned. But at the same time, I don't want to wait too long. We could settle on that plains hill. I wouldn't mind the river somewhere around here. Oh, we got a natural wonder, okay. Now that's a nice one, if that was the train use of all adjacent tiles. But how many tiles are adjacent to it? Yeah, quite a few. This is going to be a great spot. This is a no-brainer right now. Yeah. We'll probably settle right here on the forest. Now, I could settle on Plains Hill, but I don't want to take this tile away from the city. Because if this is the city center, we will not double the yields, and we will not be able to improve it. So I'd rather settle the two tiles away from the wonder itself, not right next to it. It's just going to be better for our total yields that way. Shame there's no river, but I can't really complain. <laughs> okay, so let's just settle right here. This spot will be alright, though. I will have the marble in range if we settle over here. But I will also delay this by one turn. However, we'll save the forest, which as Kupai can be quite important. So, okay, let's just delay this by one turn, or two turns, and we'll settle right here. Very nice. And we immediately got the 2 for 6 production tile to work. <laughs> this feels like it's a little bit rigged in my favor. But hey, it's going to be a fun game, alright? I'm looking forward to this. Now, I will still get a scout because I can send him through the Bermuda Triangle to make contact with some other AIs. I think that's going to be our priority early on. Make contact with some other AIs so that we can trade with them. And also look for goodie huts and such, obviously. Okay, so we do want the wheat to get the post. I'll have to wait for the gold first. Let's grab the goodie hut. We got a builder unit, okay. Well, then, nice. that gives me two builders, and I can't actually use them just yet. That's fine. Okay, scout. Let's send the scout through the Bermuda Triangle. And our warrior can check out this general area. I think that will work out a little bit better. Right, we got two builders, so we certainly don't need a third one. We do want a settler. I shouldn't need a slinger too much. It might still be a good idea to get one just in case. We got all this production, so let's get a slinger just in case some barbarian comes spawns close to us. Here's another goodie hut, and we got one stone in range. Do we have any horses? Not in range. This one is almost in range, but not quite. I normally don't scout with the builders, by the way. I'm just making an exception here, because I think it's fine if we do it. So, research. Let's grab astrology. We can probably get a region pretty damn easily, now that it's said, especially with all this production. So, yeah, I think we will get a region. I could actually have the holy site up here, which is not the worst idea ever, as in right here. That is not a bad idea. With that said, I'm going to need some gold to actually buy the tiles. We'll see how that's going to work out. All right, so let's get the gold king. And the discipline, just in case we get some barbarians. We will get some barbarians sooner or later. It's going to happen. All right, there's the slinger. Now we can get the settler. It's fine. We got 40 gold. Nice. I actually needed the gold. Now we can buy the wheat. And let's just move back here. We want the wheat and the farm for the irrigation post, as usual. Okay, here's the barbarian camp. I could get rid of that. Oh, and the Inca. Okay, so they share the same area with us. Interesting. It might be a good idea to wipe them out. They might be a little bit annoying on this map with the tunnels. I was strongly considering playing the Inca instead of Kupe, but in the end I decided to play Kupe because he can cross ocean tiles right from the start of the game, which is going to be a huge factor on this map. But yeah, I might want to wipe out the Inca here, we shall see. I still wouldn't mind getting rid of this barbarian camp if I wanted to get the boost. Let's just disembark here. It's not like we're at war with him, so it's fine. And maybe we can kill a barbarian or two. Right, let's grab the farm to get the irrigation boost. We still want to get a religion, mind you. Yeah, okay, let's try to kill this spearman. Just need to be careful because I don't want to lose my warrior. Here's another barbarian camp. That is potentially a good thing because we'll be able to get archery boost. So hold on, we have two sources of horses, and they are both just one tile too far away from my city. They are both four tiles away, so I can't get either of them. That's a bit of a troll. That is definitely a bit of a troll, but alright. I guess I can live with it. Still slightly annoying, not gonna lie. Alright, let's take a look. See if there's any AI over here. Two horses. Now, unfortunately, it's completely random where the Bermuda Triangle is going to move. It moves you to a random ocean tile on the other side of the map. So the only part that's not random is that it will be on the other side of the map. It can move you to somewhere nearby. Uh, okay, let's move away from the scout, shall we? I might want to go and kill him, but I also want to get rid of this barbarian camp. Yeah, I think it will be fine. It will be fine. We did get one dealer for free, so I think it's fine if we get some of tiles. Uh, let's fortify over here, make them attack us. Maybe the spearman will basically kill himself. Yeah, there we go. So I could kill the spearman and destroy the barbarian camp, but I will likely lose my warrior as a result. It might still be worth it. I could also stay fortified for one more turn. Or for several more turns. But I have a feeling that if I want to destroy this barbarian camp myself, I will basically have to sacrifice the warrior. I think it's worth it. So let's do that. We got military tradition. It's just a warrior, it's not that big of a deal. We'll get another one. Okay, yep. Yeah, I will probably need more units here after all. Let's just delay that settler a tiny little bit. I'm going to need more than just a single slinger. That's for sure. Yep, indeed. Okay, I mean this was worth it, I think. We got the boss out of it. Okay, well, let's kill that spearman. I do want archery boss. And hopefully we'll get early archery. How much to buy more tiles? So, okay, I could grab this forested hill. If I want a religion, I should probably buy the mountain itself and then the tile on the other side of it. But I will need more gold. Still, this is a better spot because the tundra is otherwise not that useful. I could in theory build the holy side right here on the uh, hill, but that would be a waste of an otherwise really nice tile. So, okay, let's just buy the plane directly, and then we'll need 80 gold to buy the tile on the other side of it. Hopefully we'll get some gold from a goodie hut like this one.
Okay, he got a horseman. That's not great. That's not great. I'm going to need a warrior. A horseman this early on can be a bit annoying. We got the bronze working boss. I guess that's fine. Could have been worse. I would have preferred gold, but I can live with it. All right, I can kill the spearman. I will likely take some damage from the horseman, but hopefully we'll survive. This will also give us archery boss, which I need. It should be fine, but that horseman is bad news. I can always. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, bro. Okay. I was gonna say I can uh, run away by embarking, and they won't be able to follow me. This is going to be the problem. We got three horsemen to deal with. Let's get archery, and then get an archer. That will make it easier to deal with them. Yes, I can hit him. It is a little bit risky, but I think I need the damage. Let's hit him with the slinger and attack him with the warrior. You see, no, this is exactly why I picked up discipline, even though we didn't have any barbarians at the time. They were going to show up. Okay, let's just send a settler through the Bermuda Triangle to settle another area, because I will not be able to send units for a pretty long time to my other city due to the fact that the destination is completely random, which means that city will have to be self-sufficient with defenses and things like that. So that means I want to get started on developing that city and growing that city early on, so that it will be able to defend itself if it has to. That's the idea. Okay, well, let's grab another slinger here, and then we can promote him to an archer. Excuse me. But yeah, we got three horsemen coming in. That's going to be problematic. Now I can embark, and they won't be able to follow me. And we probably want to back up a little bit. I might have to just let them pillage this time. I want to be on a hill, and I want to be directly next to my city center, so that I can run away and hide inside my city if I have to, with the warrior. Hopefully we can still get the legion while fighting these guys. I am going to need 80 gold, 90 gold, but we'll get there in a few turns. So there's the slinger. Now we want to fortify. I can move here. Okay, let's go here, and then leave the city with the slinger. This way he won't be able to attack my slinger with more than one single horseman. That's the idea. Yep, sounds good. How long until the city grows on its own? Two more turns. Then we can get the miner here. That is going to be an amazing time to work. Now, I could get yet another unit. Let's grab a warrior to have more than just a single melee unit. Now, one thing I could also do is just start a city somewhere over here. Now, the Inca will not be able to embark just yet, but they will likely get that ability pretty soon. Yeah, this can be our first city. I want our second city to be somewhere older than here. With all this production, cranking out settlers shouldn't be a huge problem. Okay, one more turn in craftsmanship. Okay, two more turns. Well, one more after this. Okay, right. Let's be careful here. I don't want to lose these. It might be best to embark and move the warrior into the capital. The only problem is that they might steal one of my builders. If they get too close, I can only hide one builder inside my capital. So that might be slightly problematic. Okay, where are we now? Oh, over here, okay. Wait, does it lead to the same exact tile every time, actually? No, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be random. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be random. But okay, I mean, this is fine. That's a lot of horses. We got incense, we got wheat. So we can settle maybe right here, on that plains hill. I could also settle maybe like over here. Okay, this is not a bad idea. This will give us fresh water, and it is also a plains hill. Yeah, I think that might be alright. Okay, yeah, this is going to be fine. Alright. Well then, I might want to move away from him here. I can hit him with my warrior, like so. We can probably disembark with one of the slingers on this side of the city. Yeah, let's move away one tile. We don't want him to capture our builder. Definitely not. Let's take a look. I don't think there's any AI in this area, which is good. No, I don't have to settle here. I can still send my settler elsewhere. But this is a good enough spot. It will be worth a fair bit of money, because we'll be able to just sell the horses. Oh yeah, I should have switched from craftsmanship or something else. Switched to foreign trade. Yeah, we got that done in time. Alright, we can kill the barbarian horseman. You know, unfortunately, because I have two warriors inside my city, I cannot attack the horseman directly. I have to leave with one of them, and then attack the horseman. And he's also coming with a horse archer. Okay, okay, this is getting to be a bit Just a little bit. Also, we got the wrong tile. Yeah, the natural expansion got a different tile, not the one I wanted. Alright, we can get started on the holy side on the next turn. Meanwhile, let's just start another slinger. I'll need three archers eventually for one of the boss. Okay, barbarian scout. Okay then, hopefully that won't be a big problem. But we'll find out, won't we? Yes, we will. Okay, this is fine. I will have to kill that horse archer, obviously. Let's attack him with the warrior inside the city. Then I can attack him with the other warrior. And then hopefully we'll kill him on the next turn. Now we can buy the tundra tile, that's 90 gold, and let's get started on the holy side. That's going to be a plus 5 right away. There we go, very nice. How long until more border growth? A lot. Well, then the builder will have to chill, at least for now. Once we get all these horses, hopefully we'll be able to sell some of them. At least that's the idea. So there's the city. Let's grab a builder right away. It will take some time to grow the city to a reasonable size. Alright, there's the promotion, so battle cry. Now I can kill the horse archer. I shouldn't lose the warrior after, because these two horsemen are almost dead. So we should be safe. We should definitely be safe. Now, we don't want the scout to discover our city. Let's just guard this choke point over here. Because I will definitely not be able to defend this just yet. I'm just going to guard this choke point for now. Alright, let's follow this guy. We are above with archery. So I might get one archer once I'm able to afford it. But we want the gold to purchase some ties around the wonder. We also want to get rid of that actual barbarian camp, obviously. Hey! Okay, he almost killed my warrior. One freaking health. One freaking health. He basically killed both of his swords, uh, both of his horsemen. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. Now let's get that horse archer, shall we? And another horseman is coming. And now we have other barbarians from the northeast. Yeah, okay, this is getting a bit annoying. This is getting a little bit annoying. Next up, mining. We obviously need mining. I need 60 gold to get my archer. Would be nice to find some gold. Would be nice to get some gold for this friendly barbarian camp. But yeah, I don't think I can do it as quickly as I would like. So I don't want to lose my slinger here. He should be fine. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Okay, this is good. I need to watch out for our builders. Let's just embark with one of them. Yeah, and I cannot finish my holy side because he's standing on top of that tile. That's even more annoying. Come on, man. I'm seriously getting slow right now. Get out of here. There's the promotion. Nice. Yes, continue the holy side, please. Pick up the promotion. Volley. Let me swap these guys around. Yep. That's good. I could try to send the builder for the Bernard Shango. That is a little bit risky, I guess. But okay, I suppose we can do it. I suppose we can do it. Let's try to kill the scout. Shouldn't be a problem with discipline and such. Oh, yeah, he did capture. Yeah, this is fine, though. Yeah, I think it's fine, at least. I'm pretty sure it's fine. Hey, you there. What do you think you're doing? And let's embark with the warrior here. Too many barbarians, man. We will send the worker for the Bernadette I don't think we'll get the workable one, anyway. That seems very unlikely. But it's a lot of science if you can get the workable one. Here's the holy side, nice. Just don't get it pillaged. Uh, follow that warrior, thank you. And there's another one coming. Okay, seriously? Now I'm a little bit annoyed, not gonna lie. I'm actually a little bit annoyed now, but okay. I suppose we did get one builder for free, so I can't complain too much. Grab the shrine. Okay, now see? So this was pure luck. This was actually pure luck that I ended up basically on the same ocean tile. 
I remember correctly. It is in fact random. It is in fact random. I can try to enter it a bunch of times until I end up over here. So I might do that because I wouldn't mind getting an early builder here without having to waste 10 turns. We can try to do that. Surely we will end up here eventually. Hopefully. The odds should actually be decent. Okay, well, I still can't get the archer, ironically, because I just don't have the money. I just don't have the money. Here, attack this fella. And disembark. And fortify. So enter it again. Nope, didn't get it. Oh, we're back home. We're actually back. Back home. <laughs> okay, okay, this might take a bunch of attempts. Okay, choose Pantheon. What do we want for the Pantheon? Good question. We don't have Dance of the Aurora available anymore. Somebody picked it up already. Not sure if I would have picked it up, but yeah, it's not available anymore. So God of the Sea is not really worth it, because we don't have enough sea-based resources in the area, or on the coast that I'm familiar with so far. There are some, but I didn't settle close to them. It might still be good in the long run, but it's a little bit risky, because it won't really give me any initial benefit. Other than that, I guess we could just pick up, where was it? Fertility Rise. You can't really go wrong with Fertility Rise. Yeah, let's just grab Fertility Rise, I think that's fine. More growth and another builder for free. Works for me. Now, let's see, let's not get our skill here. I might have to back up. I think I have to back up. Yeah, I'm going to get killed if I don't back up. So let's do something like this. I'll have to give up the builder for now. At least we can repair our other tile. Now, unfortunately, they might pillage my holy site, which is going to be really annoying. But at least we finished it. Still, these barbarians are already getting on my nerves. They are ruining my strategy. He did pillage it. And it's not like I can kill him with that fast. I can't. Okay, we can get one archer. Probably on the unit that's closer to full health right now. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, don't kill my warrior, bro. I kind of need him. Thank you. Hey, whoops. Okay, I was too focused on something else. That's not what I should have done. Although, we might actually want to harvest this because I need some space for districts. And I'll probably need them over here. Yeah, I might actually have to harvest this, but not yet. Bro's working next to reveal our own. Did we go where we wanted? Yes, we did. Nice. Now I can improve the horses. Hopefully. I just have to buy them first. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. You're okay, I survived. That's good. Can I kill him right now? Not really. <coughs> okay, not really. I can kill him with my warrior. And then we really need to heal up. We really need to heal up afterwards. Three turns until we claim the style. I want the mine over here. For obvious reasons. Repair the holy site. Go catch the scout. And heal our slingers. We're about to finish foreign trade. Okay, 27 turns. Yeah, that's maybe a bit too much. I don't want to get the horses here. Because hopefully we'll be able to sell them. There's foreign trade. Right, yeah, let's buy the horses. And improve them right away. That also gives us horseback riding boss. We will boss craftsmanship soon enough. Let's get started on early empire. Yep. We will boss that pretty soon as well. We don't need God King anymore. We can pick up something else instead, like urban planning. I am keeping discipline. Clearly, we're still fighting barbarians. So I'll get the shrine done. Not seeing the barbarian scout. I'm gonna actually pass on the archer unless I really, really need him. But I think we'll be fine without that for now. I want to save the gold to buy ties with. Okay, hopefully we'll get this one this time. We should. According to the video, we should. Alright, let's just grab this wheat. We'll get the reels. I'm gonna be very anyway. Okay, there we go. Nice. Very nice. I'll give us craftsmanship. I think we can kill the for now. I'm keeping discipline. And I'm keeping urban planning, I think. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting the other builder right now. Other than this one, but this one's done. So it's all good. Let's keep urban planning. Keep on the scout. And I'm gonna scout to send people in contact with other guys. I'm still a little worried about the barbarian scout earlier. So I'd rather keep this chocolate blocked. We don't want to discover our city Okay, repair this, obviously. Okay, so now we can grab a quick scout. That's just one single turn. And we probably have to find it. Well, first you have to destroy the barrier. And I was going to say, well, you're going to wipe out. That's what you're going to do. Because that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, I know. I'm going to find it. 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 I'm going to so we can get some. And we can get some. No, 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 we can get some. First, let's get marbles, and then we'll see. Let's go back to the other side. Okay, we're here. 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 Okay, we Maybe I don't need the archer now. Without that, we'll be fine again. Go for the reasons. Hopefully not. Well, we'll be safe. We'll be right. We can make points. We're fine, I think. I could get a hero. Not a hero. Let's go for the reasons. And go for the reasons. Nice. The first thing is that we've got to play. So far. Very well. Okay, we're survived. We don't want to play the whole side. We're so close. We're so close. I will actually need to play the whole side. I'm going to play the whole side. I will actually need to play the whole side. We should fight. There's no way. 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 There's no way.
This should be a little bit easier now that we got the archer promotion. So let's grab a ranger actually. Uh, go over here. Over here, fortify. And for our research, we need irrigation to improve the incense. And once we get the spearmen, we want to get started on more settlers. I think it's safe to say I probably won't be carrying every war on Machakoti. I might still go after him, but obviously not yet. I need to handle all these barbarians. And they're seriously getting my nerves. <laughs> and I need to actually like, physically start my region. And in order to do that, I have to get the free outside. Okay, we'll get the spearmen on the next turn. This should be fine. However, I think that's actually going to be the end of this first episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and enjoyed the first episode. Leave a like if you did. Uh, that really helps a lot, especially on the first video in a series. And the